Today I'm going to talk about being bombed out. Bombed out means that because of the bomb that has just dropped, you have you've got no home. You're out of you're not you're homeless. Um, and this happened to us. I was three and a half, and um, I was living in um, a small house in Liverpool with my parents and my brother and my baby brother who was two weeks old and mum was just out of hospital and he was <coughs> very new and we were having um, air raid warnings and all clears and they were beginning to happen to us. We'd got um, a bomb shelter, not not a few, only a few yards away from our house. And it was um, made of reinforced concrete with a flat roof. And it held about 40 people. And um, I suddenly found myself at night, sort of dusk time. It was getting dark. I must have been in bed and woken up because I think it must have been about nine o'clock at night. Um, my mum and dad were outside the front door and I found I was being carried by my dad who was in brand new s a soldier's uniform, khaki and um, and he got a woodbine in his mouth smoking continuously. My mum was holding the new baby with a long handmade shawl which was wrapped around the baby and draped down, it looked lovely. and. She was wearing a headscarf, which was very normal for, for mothers, women of that age, tied underneath the chin, and, and her coat. And I thought, why are we outside the house um, in, um, in outdoor clothes? And my brother was standing there, um, aged five. He was the eldest, and so there were three children. And we were standing outside our house and so were a lot of other people. And I just didn't know what was going on. Nobody said what was going on. And then suddenly we all walked towards the shelter and somebody went towards the door of the shelter and there's a very fierce dog barking noise, very, very angry. The dog was inside the shelter and wouldn't let anybody in and people didn't know why and then somebody said there's a drunk inside the shelter and the dog is is um is keeping guard of it and then a policeman turned up and um nobody knew what to do because we were all going to go into this shelter i'd never been in before i didn't know why and um then the policeman um was standing by the dog and they were saying, what are you going to do about the dog? And because the dog was furiously angry, it wouldn't let us near him. And then suddenly there was a shot. And I said, you've shot the dog, haven't you? You've shot the dog. And they said, no, no, he's just, it was just a brick falling or something. And um, they shut me up, took, pulled the dog away quick. And we all went into this shelter. And there was rows of... Um, plain benches that benches for people to sit on Excuse me. and we sat on a bench my brother was against the wall on the end of the bench and I was next to him and next to me was my mother with the new baby she was breastfeeding at the time um, mum had got a big single blanket that she then wrapped around me like like a tube and sat me on the bench and squashed up me against my brother and against her so I was squashed between the, th the two other people and I was sitting on the bench and then it all went quiet and I went to sleep 
and I found that I was sleeping and sliding through the blanket like a tube onto the floor and um, and I, I didn't understand but my brother had jumped up and he was standing by the, by the door of the shelter with my dad and so there was, I wasn't squashed up against the wall and, and I was sort of free to slide off the bench because I was miles too little to put my feet on the ground and so I spent quite a lot of my time sliding out of the blanket towards the floor and my mum picking me up and putting me back up again. She meanwhile was feeding her baby um, beneath, the, beneath the shawl and people were sitting, the place was crowded with people and there was a drunk, they left the drunk in the corner and he was just lying there uh, in, a, in a coma in the corner of the room and um, there was pee on the floor so he'd been there some time and the pee was getting onto my blanket and I didn't like it but I can't do anything about it and then I noticed there was a very very loud rumbling noise and a plane was coming overhead and um, there was a few of the, the, these moments and there's some banging noise, very, very loud banging. I said to my brother, what's that banging noise? And he said, oh, it's guns. And I said, oh, that's okay, I suppose. And then there was another very loud banging noise. And I said to my brother, that was a big gun. It was probably a house falling down. And then this loud rumbling noise overhead, it was a plane overhead, right overhead, and I, I looked at everybody, there were cigarettes in most people's mouths, and I could see their faces, and I could see them all looking up at the ceiling, and I thought, why are they looking at the ceiling when there's no window? I just thought, it's weird, I've never seen that happen, and I remember this scene of faces looking right up into the ceiling. And then suddenly the, the, the loud noise went very, very loud. And then there was a fantastically huge explosion. And it was the house just a few yards away was smashed to the ground. It was directly opposite us in our house. And it could have been our house, but it wasn't. And then everybody was quiet. And then suddenly there was bangings on the ceiling. Bang, 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 bang. And I didn't know what it was, but what it was, was the chimney of the house, house that had been blown up. The chimney was coming down brick by brick and they were falling on the roof of the cell, cellar of the, of the shelter. Um, my dad was standing in the doorway of the shelter with the policeman and they noticed there was a light burning in the in the bombed out house everything was flat excepting this light was swinging so my dad and the policeman started throwing stones at this light and they threw stones until they smashed it because a light for a plane would be a place where you drop a bomb so they couldn't have a light but they didn't get dare go near the near the house because it was it was just a, a pile of rubble probably still breaking up as as they watched it next thing was i don't remember because i was asleep but when i woke up i was in somebody else's house with my family and somebody had said come and sleep with us in our house and so we'd slept with somebody at Charles Berrington Road, I think it was, we, we, we were in. And then the next day, we moved into a house where a woman had told the vicar, let any family who is um, out of, ha have, has been bombed out, let them live in my house. I've gone to live with my sister. Let them live in and they can use the house and eat the food and live in it as if, if it was theirs. And so we lived in this house for two weeks and then we rented a house for forever and moved into that. And that's 
what happened to me when I was bombed out. I quite enjoyed it, really. <laughs> Thank you. The colourful world of Oh, the same chord, a four chords, and I still can't get the right. Oh.